Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh, and in this video, we'll continue to learn about quantile transform. In previous video, we discussed the intuition. Here, we'll look at the actual implementation using Python in Jupyter Notebook. Here in Jupyter Notebook, I've imported a couple of libraries: pandas, numpy, matplotlib, and for sklearn, I've imported these libraries: preprocessing load iris and then train test split and these are the versions that i'm using uh, right now at the time of making this video for data uh, i've they created this array and we'll use the iris data set in addition to this array as well so the first example that uh, we can go over is the creating the box plot that we saw in the previous video where we uh, normalize the or pre-process and quantile transform the data set for months uh, so here we'll go ahead and use the same uh, month ar array that we have up top and try to plot it so plt dot box plot m and plt dot x label and the x label was month and then y label was number of buses so plt dot y label and we have number of buses now the title we had was this is the original data set so i'll just put original data now when we plot this this here we can see that for month one uh, the data is in a very narrow range between 10 between 0 and 10 and that's uh, drastically different than what we have here for the month three now what quantile transform can do is it can uh, change that and bring them in the same range so let's create a variable qt for quantile transformer and we'll use preprocessing dot quantile transformer capital q and capital t and then we'll use the random state is equal to zero after we initialize that we can use that uh, to I are to apply the fit train transform method. So qt dot fit underscore transform and here we specify the data which is m. And now when we go ahead and plot this, I'll use the same code that we had up above and paste that right here. Instead of m, we now have m underscore trans and this is the transform data. So this is quantile uh transformed data and as you can see as compared to the previous data which was there we see that the data is now in the range 0 to 1 for all of them and their medians are pretty close to each other uh within uh, close to about 0.5 whereas here the median for each of those which is shown here by the yellow orange line or uh, there was vast difference magnitude of difference between the medians so this is uh, one example of how quant how we can use quantile transformation uh, for a data set now in the second example we'll use the iris data set and for iris data set we'll, uh, we'll use the sepal length uh, that for creating the plots so first we'll get the data so x and y is equal to load underscore iris uh, and then we have return sorry return underscore x underscore y uh, is equal to true and then x underscore train x underscore test y underscore train y underscore test test is equal to train underscore test underscore split so we get the train and test data separate separated out here and for that we again use the random underscore state is equal to zero now we have this data set we can look at the shape of train so train dot shape we have 112 rows there and for test dot shape we have about 38 rows we won't be using the y values in this particular case so to apply a quantile transform to such a data set what we want to do is 
create a new variable in this case it's x ray and transform trans and then is equal to qt we have already initialized the variable up so we'll use the same uh, qt variable here qt dot fit underscore uh, or let's go ahead and uh, okay so we'll use the same variable here transformer we are going to use fit on the fit and transform the train data and on the test data we'll just use transform so x underscore test underscore trans is equal to qt dot transform uh, x underscore test so uh, notice the difference we are uh, doing the fit only on the train data and we are using the transform uh, on the test data set so when we run this uh, object has no attribute fit transformer so sorry it has to be transform so now if we try to plot those so plt dot haste and we'll plot just the first so first uh, column x all rows in column at index 0 and this is the data set we have now when we look at the transformed data set so x underscore trans uh, train underscore trans here we can see that there is uh, we have transformed the data set and it is now uh, uniform it now has a uniform distribution now if we were to if you are interested in getting a different distribution such as a normal distribution uh, we can do that as well so let's specify q p is equal to p processing dot quantile transformer and in this particular statement we need to specify the output distribution so let's put random state is equal to zero then output underscore distribution is equal to normal now when we use this particular distribution uh, output distribution and try to fit it to our x train so let's say x trans again we calculate this and this is normal is equal to qt dot uh, qt dot fit underscore transform and here we specify the data so x underscore train now when we plot this uh, x uh, transform normal data set so plt dot haste x underscore trans trans underscore normal as you can see we have a normal distribution as compared to a uniform distribution earlier we, if we just plot the very first column we can clearly see that the difference uh, in the two particular uh, output distributions that was it for this video i hope in this and the previous videos you learned what is quartile what is quantile percentile and how we can use quantile transform function from scikit-learn to transform a data set and map it into either a uniform distribution or a normal distribution and we also briefly looked at how the cumulative distribution function looks like how the quantile function or the percent point function looks like and how that could be applicable to uh, performing this particular transformation if you have any comments or suggestions please let me know in the comment section below i hope to see you all in the next video please like share and subscribe thank you